We have another cautionary tale, this one about social media influencers and their businesses. One fitness coach and influencer from Dallas who has hundreds of thousands of followers is under fire now after some of her online clients say they were scammed. Yeah. When you're fighting to reach those fitness goals, a lot of us look at social media for inspiration, motivation. Well, fitness influencing is big money, but not all trainers are created equal. This morning, a warning before you buy into an online plan. Today we're going to be brutally honest, so take a pen and a piece of paper, which I don't have, and write down everything I'm going to say because this is important. And if you need it to stick it on your forehead, do it because you need to remember this. <laughs> and if you don't have a pen, you have a pen. Well, you can take saliva or blood and you can you know, write it down with that. As long as you stick it here on your forehead and you don't forget it, I don't care what you do. <laughs> the so-called coaching has become pretty trendy lately. There is a coach for virtually everything health coach, holistic health coach, fitness coach, sports coach, I'm gonna take your money, dumb as bitch coach, basically get a title fast in a few months and bam, now you are an expert in whatever field you decide to pursue. Or fitness influencers, fitness influencer, oh my God. God, you're like so cool. You can influence people. Hi, I'm Paris Hilton, but you already knew that. I love seeing all my favorite looks on the runway inspired by me. By me, me, me. Trying to sell their fitness plans or their diet plans. <clears throat> Damn it. Trying to sell their diet plans, their fitness plans, whatever plans they've got. I've exhausted every evil plan in my filing cabinet from A to Y. What about Z? Z? Oh, it's lemon scented. This plan Z can't possibly fail. And then their protein powders which they claim you need for your muscle gain. <laughs> this is how they got their body. Why the fuck you lying? Mm, oh my God, stop fucking lying. Well, let me tell you how they got their body. Let's be fucking real here. They got that body by working extremely hard at the gym and doing very low calorie diets. I can assure you, these people are checking and counting their calories like bitch. 120 calories and 48 calories from fat, what percent is that? And then they do like a 10,000 calorie challenge, <laughs> but that's one day. You don't know what they're doing the other days. They're counting calories like a motherfucker. Disclaimer, it doesn't mean that everyone in the fitness world does this but a vast majority does that's why i don't classify it as a disorder unless it truly compromises your health but usually these people go through orthorexia periods for a short time because it's honestly hard to sustain over the long term it gets to a point that you're like fuck it <laughs> I'm just gonna quit. <laughs> but at least they get money out of it. You don't. You don't. You stay poor, bitch. Because that's the problem. Anyone, anyone can.
can post whatever the hell they want on the internet, on YouTube, on Instagram. It's so easy to get a qualification these days. You can get it in a few months. And the most ridiculous ones, you can get a qualification in a few hours. If you pay it, you'll have it. And let me tell you what's wrong with this. From all the things that are wrong with this. So we first have the fitness and nutrition or health social media people with thousands or millions of followers selling their diet plans, their supplements, and their protein powders. Seriously, every time that I watch the what are you doing today video to lose weight and yeah, follow me because I'm so skinny and I have such a great body. Hey God. Stop fucking lying. Because I love you guys so much, I want you all to look cute. Nope. And eat this protein powder because you're gonna gain a lot of muscle and whatever fucking shit they clean, you know? Many of those followers, women who have turned to Britney Dawn to get their dream bodies, success photos, transformations showcasing the results posted online. Brunson paid $250 for a 60-day plan of workouts, a personalized nutrition plan, and access to Dawn by phone. So when I watch these videos and I see these diet plans and program plans, whatever, I want to cry inside. Why the fuck you lying? You're deceiving people. Never got anything back other than just, oh girl, you're doing so great. But I'm like, how am I doing great because I'm not losing weight? and inches aren't going anywhere. You are freaking deceiving people. No wonder why people are getting obsessed with dieting. No wonder, no wonder why there are so many people on the internet right now that have so many problems and unhealthy relationships with food. Because you can't tell people what is right to eat and what is not and to do this or do that without knowing how the body works like i'm sorry like there are people studying for fuck lots of years and then you come up with your stupid dumb ass two months or two hours worth of degree or qualification and then what now you know it all are you fucking kidding me you know actually you know what i'm gonna do I am going to do a two month qualification and then I'm gonna go to NASA and I'm gonna be like, I'm ready to be an astronaut. I'm so ready. <laughs> or even better, I'm going to be a pilot and I'm just gonna kill everyone. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is we'll be landing immediately. The bad news is we're crash landing. See the stupidity here? Because it's so stupid. Remember, they are getting money by selling you shit. Without you, they don't have a job. And I'm not saying they all do, again. It's getting so easy to reach thousands of people and get qualifications that people are getting advantage. And once you get that nice check every month, you will sell whatever shit you have to. Hello, I like money. Everyone is trying to make a living. Ethical? Not exactly. Money! But he pays the travels, right? Indonesia, Hawaii, Australia, whatever freaking beautiful island up there. Dancing with the penguins, hugging the polar bears Or the fancy hotels, cars, and clothing 
But my poor young audience, they don't know much about the world yet. So they are the ones at higher risk of being deceived. And the problem is that these people can disappear. disappear. Run. It's not like you're going to a dietitian or a doctor face to face and if something goes wrong, you are backed up by the law. Their credentials are not backed up by the Academy of Dietetics like I am. These people, if they screw up, they can just like delete their account, their Instagram account, their YouTube account, or delete their website and they disappear. Disappear. Run. Money! But they took your money and your health and your dignity and your happiness and your soul. Coaches putting people on diet plans claiming that they are going to improve people's health but without a true nutrition background or anatomy and physiology or even chemistry background i'm sorry but a four month worth of qualification doesn't give you the title to be a health professional okay Move on. Move on. If you won the title, work hard for it. As dietitians, we have to take classes on anatomy and physiology, chemistry, microbiology, psychology, public health, research, disease prevention, medical nutrition therapy, nutrition at cell level. So many classes, but basically four years worth of classes plus a year at a supervised healthcare program. So five years of it. So this means that after getting your degree, before sitting for the RD exam, to be able to get your dietitian credentials and see patients, dietitians must complete a supervised program at a healthcare facility, usually for a 12 month period. And to get matched for this program, you need to get an A GPA. And the most recent matching statistics show that only 55% of applicants actually received a match. I'm telling you, the competition for this program is fierce. So yeah, you work pretty hard to earn your title. Not a four month bullshit. And still, these five years are nothing if you truly want to know how the body works. Because that is how complex the body is. And on top of that, if you are a science freak like me, you spend even more hours doing endless research, attending seminars, or listening to doctors and dietitians who are actually and truly experts because they spent more than 25 years working in that field. I literally at night fucking go through this advanced nutrition and human metabolism book over and over by myself because that is how much I want to know how the body works. I want to know how every freaking organ in your body works. That's how committed I am to nutrition. Right now, I just have a bachelor's, but people pursue masters and PhDs. And still, it's not even enough if you truly want to know how the body, you truly want to know how the body works. So every time that I watch a YouTube video or I hear health coaches or fitness influencers telling you to buy their bullshit protein powders because you need them to gain muscle or to eat a shit ton of carbohydrates because it's the primary source of energy I'm like, with what data? Oh right, you read a study but let's be honest Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? You read the introduction 
and the conclusion. Because you don't understand even half of the words that you see in that study. The problem is that some people think that everyone can read the studies. You can read it, but understand it, it's another thing. And then we have the most ridiculous one. You saw a Netflix documentary. Now you know it all. Thank God for that knowledge. Or you did a lot of research reading random blogs written by random people who also claim to know it all. So it's a domino effect. Actually, I call it the ignorance domino effect. You suck! There is a reason why people study for years and years. So don't come up to me and tell me you know it all because you watched a fucking stupid documentary or read the intro and conclusion of a study. How the fuck I'm not gonna get mad? You suck! It's like... You! So ignorant! It's so ignorant! The same way I don't think I'm an astronaut and that I can fucking pilot a plane or be the queen of England. Shut the fuck up! Or they make a video on how to lose weight. I want to eat in a day video to get this amazing body. Like a princess. If you do, you'll be treated like one. You know, if you want your dream body, listen to me. Listen to me. I got you, girl. I got you. Yeah, you got my money, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha! This needs to be stopped. This needs to be taken care of. And I'm gonna do that. Run. And taking aside that they're like basically taking all of your money. People are following bad advice because of what they claim. But where are their repercussions? People are getting slapped in the face because of that. Your health is not a joke. Health is sacred. Why do people think they have the authority to touch such sacred things? You suck! I know it's not an evil instinct, rather because of pop culture and revenue or profit. Let's be real here, it's a multi-million industry. And now more than ever because everyone wants to be fit and healthy. Everyone wants money. You know it, I know it. Everyone knows this. Titles are earned. You work hella hard to earn that title. Otherwise, do something else. It's so scary to see how easy it is to get qualifications these days. Like we said, it, you can get your qualification in a few hours. This needs to be stopped for everyone's sake. The problem is that money is very accessible and in today's world, reaching millions of people couldn't be easier. Everyone wants fast money, easy money, and a fancy lifestyle. It's the mindset of, if I can do that work in less time and in an easier way, I'll do it. But what about integrity and ethics? Where are they? And I'm not just speaking on behalf of people who are pursuing their bachelors, their masters, their PhDs, and are working hella hard to earn their title. But for the audience who is being used as a dollar sign. And I know that by making this video, people who are deceiving others are gonna still do it. I know it. I'm just making this video so you are aware of this. So my advice is if you follow an Instagram account or you watch a YouTube video 
or you are looking for a diet plan or you're searching the internet to find someone who will give you health advice, always make sure they have the credentials to be able to give advice. Otherwise, take that advice as personal experience. And remember, personal experience is extremely subjective. And what works for them one day, the other day may not. So always keep that in mind. You are a smart cookie. Always question what you hear. Always. Even this video, even though I'm like being brutally honest. <laughs> there is a reason why I decided to pursue dietetics. I care about people's health and I'm not gonna let anybody jeopardize that. And if you wonder what happened here, um, I am a clumsy mother and I fell down the stairs, you know, I was like, <laughs> that was me, that was me.